The Robert A. Lee Monument was an outdoor bronze equestrian statue of Confederate General Robert A. Lee and his horse traveler located in Charlottesville, Virginia's Market Street Park in the Charlottesville and Albemarle County Courthouse Historic District. The statue was commissioned in 1917 and dedicated in 1924 and in 1997 was listed on the National Register of Historic Places. It was removed on July 10, 2021. In February 2017, as part of the movement for the removal of Confederate monuments and memorials, the Charlottesville City Council voted 3-2 for the statue's removal, along with the Stonewall Jackson statue, and for the Lee Park to be renamed. The removal proposal generated controversy. A lawsuit was filed on March 20, 2017, and in May 2017 a temporary injunction against its removal was granted by a judge, citing a Virginia state law that blocked the removal. White supremacists organized the Unite the Right rally for August 2017 to protest the proposed removal that drew numerous far-right groups, and during which 32-year-old Heather Hay was murdered. On August 23, 2017, the council had the statue shrouded in black, which in February 2018 a judge ordered removed. In July 2019 a permanent injunction was granted and in July 2020 the state law was amended to remove the grounds for objection raised by the judge. The Virginia Supreme Court lifted the injunction in April 2021, holding that the state law thought to restrict the removal did not apply retroactively to statutes passed before its effect. However, rather than immediately remove the statute, the city opted to employ the new removal process authorized under the law's 2020 amendments, which entails public notice, a public hearing after 30 days, and 30 days to field offers for relocation of the statue. On July 9, 2021, the city council announced that the Lee Monument would be removed the following day. And, on July 10, 2021, both the Lee and Stonewall Jackson statutes were removed by the city. In 1917, Paul Goodloe McIntyre commissioned the statue from the artist Henry Shreddy. It was the second of four works he commissioned from members of the National Sculpture Society. McIntyre wanted a public setting for the statue, buying a city block of land and demolishing existing structures on it to create a formal landscaped square, later named Lee Park the first of four parks he would donate to Charlottesville. Shruddy was chronically ill at the time of the commission, he worked on it slowly and it was still unfinished on his death in 1922. Leo Lentelli completed the sculpture in 1924, and it was dedicated on May 21st of that year. It was cast in the Roman bronze works of Brooklyn, New York. Comparison with a surviving model of the proposed statue by Shruti reveals Lentilly's version is less animated than that intended by Shruti. The oval granite pedestal was designed by the architect Walter Blair and on its side has the inscription, Robert Edward Lee, with the dates 1807 and 1870. The sculpture and pedestal combined are approximately 26 feet high, 12 feet long, and 8 feet wide at the bottom of the pedestal. In March 2016, Charlottesville's Vice Mayor Wes Bellamy publicly called on City Council to remove the Lee statue and rename Lee Park, saying that the statue's presence disrespected parts of the community and that he had spoken with several different people who have said they have refused to step foot in that park because of what that statue and the name of that park represents. And we can't have that in the city of Charlottesville. Local NAACP head Rick Turner supported removal, calling Lee a terrorist. Others accused the city council and Bellamy of disregarding Lee's historical significance, overlooking his importance to Virginia, sowing division, and trying to rewrite history. A petition to remove the statue was initiated, with wording saying the statue represented hate and was a subliminal message of racism. In April 2016, the city council appointed a special commission named the Blue Ribbon Commission on Race, Monuments and Public Spaces, to recommend to city officials how to best handle issues surrounding statues of Stonewall Jackson, in Court Square and Lee in Lee Park, as well as other landmarks and monuments. Early in November 2016, 
The Blue Ribbon Commission voted 6-3 to, to let both statues remain in place. On November 28, 2016, it voted 7-2 to, to remove the Lee statue to McIntyre Park in Charlottesville and 8-1 to, to keep the Jackson statue in place, delivering a final report with that recommendation to Charlottesville City Council in December. On February 6, 2017, Charlottesville's five-member City Council voted 3-2 to, to, to remove the Lee statue and unanimously, to rename Lee Park. In response, a lawsuit was filed on March 20, 2017, by multiple plaintiffs, including the Monument Fund Inc., the Sons of Confederate Veterans, and descendants of the statue's donor and sculptor, to block the removal of the Lee and Jackson statues. D.L.